What's up all you Comic Con loving dudes, Andy Dads, Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. It's Thursday, let's just get right into it. Starting to hit in stores because it's Comic Con week, right? And today was actually the first, if it was actually Comic Con, we would have had like preview night Wednesday night, and today would have been the first official day of the convention, but if you want to celebrate proper, you can go over to Target. I came across the brand new Venom Slime figure. It's huge, it's monstrous. I've been looking for this thing forever. Here's the DPCI. Also came across, uh, as I'm walking out the store, this really cool Super Nintendo sweatshirt. I'm a big Nintendo fan myself, so I thought it was cool. Didn't pick it up, but just in case, if you think the same thing, a lot of new Fortnite Jazzwares 4-inch figures, sets, packages, all kinds of stuff is starting to hit, so keep your eyes peeled to Target as well. And then, of course, the new Apocalypse figure for Marvel Legends is starting to hit. Here is the DPCI for Target. This guy may or may not have a street date, depending on which Target you go to. It's kind of been up in the air lately, but it might be for this coming Sunday. So just keep in mind if you get checked at the you know checkout, that's probably it. These new Snap Ships are starting to hit Target as well. They're by Play Monster. They look fairly interesting, and they kind of resemble, like, I guess you would say Legos, something to that degree. I haven't seen them personally in hand yet, but they're just kind of, like, 90s goodness. I don't know. There's something to them, so if you're interested, maybe for the kiddos, if you're shopping out for figures, maybe pick them something up as well. And sure enough, more stuff at Target, Super Van City. What year is it? You know what I mean? Like, just think about that. Here's all the DPCIs for the new Micro Machine Packs that are starting to hit, man, they just always remember that old, you know, the guy doing the voice, like the guy from Blur, you know, like, go, 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 Micro Machine, Micro Machine, you know, <laughs> that type of thing. Diamond Select actually showed off some of their figures, expect these to go up for pre-order tomorrow sometime, on their Diamond Select website, so we did get a good look at their upcoming Pirates of the Caribbean, Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow, and then they also showed off a brand new Crow figure, James O'Barr's the Crow comic book figure, also, you know, maybe more based on the movie as well, Eric Draven, so he's looking cool. Over at the McFarlane end on McFarlane Con, they actually had a ton of new DC Multiverse figures revealed, and just as a spoiler to a lot of you if you didn't know, yeah, it's a lot of Batman stuff. <laughs> But uh, just shameless plug, if, uh, if you want to see these, I did a separate video because there's so many and I had fun talking about it. You can go and check this out. It's also on my YouTube, so go watch it after you check this as well. Now, we did get a hint the other day of the new Medicom Toys Mafex, the new Batman Adventures Batman, and then the official solicit photos went out today. And he's looking actually pretty stellar. They have managed to capture that very angular redone, you know, when they did the new Batman adventures from the previous Batman the animated series, they streamlined. Everybody gave them a very angular look. He seems to have a wired cape, a bunch of different interswappable hands, heads. I love this shot right here. This is very, very cool. They've managed to implement the joint system with that very angular cartoon design. So I think he actually looks pretty cool. And then they also got another good solicits uh, for the Wolverine, the brown costume, Metacom Mafex Wolverine figure. I like the facial expressions on this guy. I like his long mask. I'm a big fan of Marvel vs. Capcom's look for Wolverine. I really like the the very extended sort of, uh, you know, the, the black mask that goes off to the side. Kind of, you know, what's kind of going on right here. But he's got a good smirking face. What would have been cool is a yelling face with the mask. He comes unmasked with a yelling face. But I think the claws look good. You know, his, his snicked powers, all that kind of stuff. It's actually a really nice looking figure. Even though it's a, it's a repaint, basically, with a little added. But also, NECA Toys. They had a bunch of new reveals as well. We got the first look at the Creep Show packaging that will be coming out for fall for various... Creep show related toys, and I can't wait for the creep, that's for sure. They showed off some new Toonie Terrors figure, including Ghostface. Again, very pre posed if you've seen these in stores, but they're very cool looking. So, this guy might be, my, I might get, I'm a big fan of Ghostface. I don't know what it is. I love the Scream movies. And then you also got the Creep Show Creep. They're doing one of him. He's looking at, uh, you know, 
at the window looking, you know, like, hey, let me in kind of thing. <laughs> the big one, the big one everybody wanted to see. They teased it at Toy Fair. We are getting a ultimate ghost face figure, a bunch of knives, a bunch of masks. He's got a sickle. This thing, he looks awesome. I'm just going to say hands down, this was one of my favorite NECA reveals so far. There's something about ghost face, man. He's just going after Nev Campbell, but... He's uh, crazy, and they're doing a new movie, apparently, so that's pretty cool. They're also continuing on with the poster art, the original poster art, for Gremlins, much like they did with the Summer Olympics SDCC exclusive. Now we're getting the back-to-school Gremlin, and the lunchbox opens, just FYI. We also got a good look at an ultimate Jason Voorhees. Yeah, look at that ugly mug right there. God dang. Anyways, NECA doing what they do best. Look for more detailed information as these go and become available later on this year. Hot Toys showed off their Iron Man Mysterio's Illusion. Basically, it's a dead zombie. It's like Marvel Zombies Iron Man, but man, if I collected these things, I'd be totally after that. Marvel Legends, let's get on that. Come on, we need some more Marvel Zombies. Over at MezcoCon, they revealed their upcoming Bishop figure. I'm a sucker for X-Men, man. This looks like a great, great figure. It's probably going to be, you know, all holy heck expensive, but they got all his looks, you know, especially this one. This one's the classic Bishop look, you know, with the dreadlock and the big shoulder pads and everything else. So it's their take on the character, but it is very, very cool. Also in their five points line, we are getting some Ultraman toys. So I think that's pretty awesome. If you're not familiar with five points, they're the more basic five points of articulation figures, but they're really well done. They're classic. They do all kinds of different properties, but Ultraman is definitely one of the new ones. And I got to say, for being that type of property, that looks pretty cool. Over on Mondo Toys, you can go and check out their pins and their San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. This one is done by Strong Stuff, a.k.a. Tom Whalen. You know him from the Power Ranger artwork. Awesome dude, go and check out his Spider-Man 2099 pin. Storm Collectibles showed off their brand new Darkstalkers figure. He's looking all kinds of awesome. Storm Collectibles, you're, you're making this hard. You keep showing off really cool Mortal Kombat. You got Street Fighter, you got Darkstalkers. You're digging into stuff that I grew up with. That, you know, Marvel versus Capcom kind of thing like I was just talking about. I know what Darkstalkers is. That is very cool, and it's a very gorgeous-looking figure. Bluefin, we're showing off their SH Monster Arts Biolante figure. This is redone from the 2013. It will light up. It's a way to kind of get it. I hear that it fetches quite the hefty price on the aftermarket. It's going to run you about $2.95 now. Pre-orders may be going up soon, but look for Biolante to hit around sometime next year. But yeah, that's that's an awesome Godzilla monster right there. Shout out to everyone at Mattel and WWE. They did a great presentation today on their WWE panel. They showed off a ton of stuff. And please go check out Blainer on Instagram. Good friend. He was helping me out with all this WWE wrestling stuff. I try my best in talking about this. I definitely like the WWE Turnia, the Mr. T figure. They, they went super fast today, by the way, on the new Mattel Creation site. But there is a new Amazon-exclusive rock figure. I'll have the link in the description below if you want to go ahead and grab him as well. The new Mutants, they had a Comic-Con panel today. New release date in theaters, August 28th, 2020. I'll be honest, I had heard a little bit differently. Yes, I had known all about you know the new footage and, who, and, and going to Disney Plus and such. I wouldn't rule that out just yet. We'll just say that. But uh, theaters, I don't think that that's going to be happening anytime soon. But I will say this. The first two minutes of the movie got me intrigued. Like, this looks good. I'm not going to lie. I have a zero. Maybe that's why. I have precisely zero, zero hopes for this. But I'm, I'm, I want to see it. Put it on Disney+. Plus. That's what you should have done today. Comic-Con. Hey, everybody. Guess what you can do this weekend? New Mutants, that would have been amazing. And of course, to finalize it, shout out to AFI Action Figure Insider, one of the best action figure sites, especially when I was growing up. I had no idea what to do. I, you know, I had Toy Fair Magazine, and I'd go on AFI all the time. So many memories, a fantastic site. Congratulations on the 15th year. You guys, Mr. Pickett, you know who you are. You, Excellent job over the years, and I wish you all the best and 15 more years and beyond. So that is going to wrap it up for Thursday. Comic-Con reveals a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff hitting stores still. 
It's a lot of fun. It's unfortunate. It doesn't feel the same. You know what I mean? It's, it doesn't, nothing changes the fact about going to Comic-Con, being there, seeing everybody, you know, being in the crowds. But this is the hand we've been dealt, and Comic-Con at home is going fairly well so far, with the exception of getting exclusives. And such. But hey, the news is great. Lots of new reveals. So I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Comic-Con Thursday. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I guess the one thing is nobody should be getting Comic-Con crud, right? That's a, that's a good thing. That's always a good thing. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm-hmm.